Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multiplying and dividing positive and negatives, and we want to find each quotient. So, if I was given this quotient, negative 180 divided by 15. So, negative 180 divided by 15. Well, hmm, I want to see how I, uh, I've, I like to break these as fractions, negative 180 over 15. Well, negative 180, can I break this down? Can I break this down into um, some, I don't know, some factorization here. Well, I can always do it by 2, but I think 5 goes into it, right? Because it ends in a 0. So I know 5. And the reason why I'm choosing 5 is I know 15 is divisible by 5, and I could probably get something canceled out here. Well, 5 into 180. Well, how many times does 5 go into 180? 5 goes into uh, 1 0 times, so, but 5 goes into 18 3 times, being 15. Subtract that, we're left with a 3 here, bring down the 0. And 5 into 30 is uh, 6. 6 times 5 is 30, 0, so we have 36 here, okay? Well, 36, that's just, that's 3, right? 3 times 12. And I'm going to stop there, because I know 15 is 5 times 3. So my fraction here, denominator, is 5 times 3. The numerator, negative 1 for the negative. 180, I know is 5 times 3 times 12. 5 times 3 times 12. And now I'm going to start canceling out. The 5 cancels, the 3's cancel, and now we're left with negative 1 times 12, which is a negative 12, our final answer. So again, let's recap. We have negative 180 divided by 15. I like to write that as a fraction, negative 180 over 15. 180, all right, didn't deal with a negative, but 180, I, um, I knew I could break down, and I started with a 5, because I knew 5 went into 15. 5 into 180. Well, 5 turns out from long division, right here. 5 goes into 18 3 times, 15. Right. Subtract them, we have 3, bring down the 0. 5 goes into 36 times, 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract them to 0, we're good, 36. Right there. Now 5 times 36 is 180. Well, 36 quickly I know is 3 divided by uh, 3 times 12. Right. So 3 times 12 is 36, and I stopped there because I knew 5 times 3 was 15. I recognized that. So breaking down the denominator, right? 5 times 13 was 15. The numerator was negative 1, the negative, times 5 times 3 times 12. 5 times 3 times 12. Cancel out the 5's, cancel out the 3's, and we're left with 12 here. Negative 1 times 12 is negative 12, our final answer.